five years of the Wim Hof Method. Well, all right, not quite five, almost. I'm sure you'll forgive me for jumping the gun. It was uh, early December 2017 when I began my cold therapy and breathwork practice. So let's give you some quick fire reminders and tips. As I said, I'm gonna try and keep this video shorter than my other long form ones. Cold therapy, let's start with that first of all. Cold showers and ice baths. Number one, I would say is, and I've mentioned this many times before, don't force it. If you're new to this, take it easy. Uh, you don't have to go all in like I did. And the reason why I did, by the way, initially was because I wanted the shock. I wanted, in a way, I kind of wanted the pain. I wanted something to shake me from my state. And it did just that. But I don't recommend that everybody should do it that way. And I think you should ease yourself into it. When it comes to ice baths, there is a length of time that at the moment, current research suggests you don't need to go beyond. And that is three minutes. So when you start getting used to ice baths, take it easy. You don't have to aim for three minutes straight away. I would urge that you don't do that, but try and stay in as long as you can. And then over time, try to make it to three minutes. You don't have to go beyond that because you don't need to. There's no physiological gains. I did read somewhere recently on uh, uh, Facebook that somebody had been regularly doing 45 minutes. I'm afraid that to me is stupid. That's rather silly. And not only are you not gaining, uh, but you might also be doing yourself some damage. So you don't need to go that far. Now, when in the cold, and this goes for cold showers as well as the ice baths, initially it's going to be a case of you fighting that fight flight response. So focus on your breath, first of all. That is your go to. Aim for reducing uh, the amount of breath that you take, aim for longer exhales to calm the nervous system. Now, my biggest hack uh, for cold showers, once you've calmed down that fight flight response is to work on your mind and that is that you start saying whilst in the cold positive mantras now that could be in the form of singing now what i do i immediately start saying oh yes and feels good the, the idea of this whole mantra is that eventually by making these statements you trick the brain into believing this is a positive thing that it feels good but interestingly i've been doing it for so long that my brain predicts this. And therefore it's my brain that says it does feel good. Here's the really interesting thing. The reminder I wanna tell you about is the discipline that uh, you create in doing this practice will inevitably spill over into other areas of your life. You are creating a commitment, a daily commitment of doing something that you don't initially want to do. And by doing that, you will see, uh, I guarantee this start to spill over into other areas of your life, your working life, your relationships, how you move through this world. So that to me, in my opinion, is an extremely good reason to do cold showers every day. So what about the breath work? Again, if you're new to this, don't force it. Go easy with it. Try not to uh, be analytical about this. And uh, for many people, it's a bit like the cold. With the breath holds, the exhale breath holds, people get very data-driven, analytical, and worried if they can't hold their breath as long as other people. Throw that idea out your mind. It doesn't matter how long you hold your breath for. Initially, it's just about doing the daily practice. Everything will build and grow and develop in time. And aside from that, use all the various different YouTube videos and apps that come with this kind of breath work. Do try Soma Breath. As you know, I'm a big advocate for this. I'm qualified in it. And most of my breathwork knowledge was gained through studying, studying under Soma Breath. By the way, there's lots of interesting things uh, coming out of Soma Breath. Stand by for a new app called Somadi. Uh, in fact, I'll drop a link for that below. The breathwork for me has been profound in my development. It is because of the breathwork that I now have uh, an insatiable appetite for learning. Uh, I've got a greater capacity for memory. Uh, and in fact, there's lots of other benefits that I've listed in other videos. Perhaps I'll drop them here. And another tip as far as the breath work is concerned, mix it up. This is what makes it fun and interesting and enables you to stick with it, stay the course. So what I mean by that is perhaps on the first round, breathe through your nose for both in and out. So inhale and exhale. Maybe the next round, breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Maybe on that third round, change your breathing apparatus, in other words, the types of muscles used, 
by breathing with a wide mouth. So uh, you'll notice a big difference. So start playing around with it. Breathe in different rhythms. Again, with Soma Breath, you'll hear a lot about that. We breathe in different rhythms to create a different physiological and psychological response. So this is how you're going to make this breath work a part of your daily existence. You simply start playing with it, you experiment with it, you try it to music. It doesn't have to be Soma Breath music, it could be any kind of music. Breathe in a rhythm, uh, breathe to a tapping of a finger, it doesn't matter. Just play around and experiment with it. That's how it becomes a part of your daily existence. Now a crucial component of the Wim Hof Method is of course the movement part, the yogic part. And yes, there are various different moves that Wim Hof himself will suggest you try. And I do recommend you try to learn how to do the headstand. Uh, that brings great reward in itself. But in terms of other forms of yoga and movement, there's a whole variety out there. You don't have to follow what the Wim Hof method suggests. Uh, the one that I use every day without fail, and I've been doing this for years, is the five Tibetan rites. So five years on, I know I'm going to continue this forever. Um, I do make sure I listen to my body whenever I can. I make sure I don't force it, but I still experiment with it and I play around with it. And I know without exaggeration, if you're new to the Wim Hof Method, if you stick to this, if you stay committed, if you stay the course, you will experience something rather rewarding. Get it done. What's the worst that could happen? Remember, we don't have long. And what I mean by that is in this body of ours, we don't have long to mess about and play with it whilst we're on this planet. So make the best use of it. This will be a means to bringing some of that old you back. All that old energy, that vibrancy, the lust for life, the enthusiasm, the energy. If you want that back, do the Wim Hof Method. Bye for now.